Hey Leo, how are you man? I'm here <laughs> trying to sort this problem out. I spoke to you on YouTube on your video about the programming board on the on this Adao 1701 DSP. Anyway, um, what's happening here? Let's unplug everything just so we can start from the beginning. Anyway, uh, we have this connection which is the connection between the programming board and the DSP. What happens is when I don't have this wire connected and I plug the USB cable here, uh, let's connect it here. I plug it there. I go here to Sigma. See, it's green. I recognize it. See, let me unplug and then plug it back in. Which means the computer saw the, the board. It's communicating with the board. Now, now this is the way they did the, the Wondom website, Wondom v, YouTube videos connect. They first connect the lot the programming board, then they power the then they power the the DSP with the USB cable. And I have it all set to the position here, uh, as you can see here. Damn I'm losing it. This is on number one on the programming board, position one to the right. And this one is on the position to the right as well, which is uh, they ask you to put it on to the left, the switch here, whenever you're going to play music. But since it's in the programming mode, I think it's to the right. Anyway, um, that's what I saw in their PDF file online. So they now they tell us to connect the communication cable. We go and connect the communication cable. So nothing happens besides that. So what I come here is I, uh, to the computer, I have the program here, which is the standard program for this DSP. It's the one that comes to standard with it that I found on their website. On the, <clears throat> actually it wasn't on Mondom website, it was on Sigma website, I believe. Or, or on some forum. Anyway, they tell us to come here, click link compile connect and then you get a complete message here below completed and then we go uh, link download comp link compile download then I click that but then, then I get an error message completed comps failed let me try again let me open this up open the program again here so if I Put uh, link con compile connect and then link compile download. I'm gonna get an ma error message which reads USB communication failure has occurred. It's the same error I get if I don't have any of these cables connected. It's like the same error. But anyway, uh, going back here to the situation, it's, it's, it reads green there. If I change the now, now that the, all the cables are connected and I disconnect the power from here and connect again yeah it's still turning from red to green see it still recognizes uh see the board has three lights on if i disconnect it still has three lights on it seems like it's being powered by the lower one but 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 it's not a data cable you see it's it is a data cable but it doesn't read as one anyway if i disconnect this power here from below and then now we connect only the top one with this data cable connected, I didn't remove the data cable. This thing is red now. It doesn't go to green anymore. So if I go here on device manager, now I have a unknown device here that I don't know where it came from. I mean, I, I well, I know, I know this is the, this is it because if I disconnect it, it disappears. See. I have a bunch of devices here which is with the um, with the signal question mark in it. I don't know why that is, but anyway, um, the one that appears when I connect the wire is the one below here, the unknown device. I don't know. Maybe I need a driver for that. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure what's going on.